Today I'm doing the very requested jewelry collection. Usually in like my hauls and stuff, I wear a lot of jewelry and then you guys always ask where it's from. But since I stack a lot of my jewelry, they're all from different places and I thought it'd probably be easier to just have like one reference video where everyone could just see everything. So I actually keep all my jewelry in the worst system ever. It's just all my necklaces and rings are in this little box from Philippe already, like one of the cases it came in. And then I have all my earrings in this little mason jar. That's pretty much the setup. I think I'm gonna start with my earrings because I usually wear the same ones every day because I get lazy and I don't actually switch them out. I just go to sleep with them and wake up with them on. On the left side, I got this new piercing. So that's just like the piercing earring it came with. It's a little long, I know. I'm waiting for this swelling to go down so I can switch it out for like a smaller gold bar. This little stud is from, this is from Wish actually. It has a little screw on backing, which I really like for my cartilage piercings because it doesn't poke the back of my head. This is from Vivimacity. I have a couple of studs from them, which I really like because they're just so dainty and sparkly and they're perfect for like my third, fourth, whatever piercings. This long one, rectangular shaped one, this one is from Anna Luisa. I have a few pieces from them. This is the mini Roxy hoops, I want to say. Everything will be linked below, by the way, because I don't know the names of everything. And if I have any discount codes, I'll also put that below. And then this final hoop here is also from Anna Luisa. I tend to only wear one earring of the pair because I don't have it the same on both sides. Just know that they come in pairs. This one is probably my favorite ear. That sounds so weird. I just really like the earrings that I have on this and how it looks. So this one with the little blue sapphire dangly stone. This is from Vivamacity. It's a threader earring. It's like pretty long. So I looped it to through two holes, but in like a circular kind of motion so that it is shorter. Cause otherwise like, look, you can just, it'll be really long, which I don't really like. But I love the look of threader earrings. I think they just like look super cool. This one is from Ana Luisa again. This is one of my favorite ones, by the way. And then this one's from Vivamacity. These are the Vivamacity studs. One of them is a butterfly and one's on a three little like leaf thing this side's the butterfly and then this side is the little three leaf yeah this is the other starter earring super long as you can see but it gives you a lot of space to like creatively weave it i have these hoops from Ana Luisa. like the perfect shape and they're not circular they're more like oval shaped which i think is very interesting a little different from usual hoops but they're bigger than most of the stuff that i wear so if i want to look a little fancy these are the ones I put on. I have these wooden hoops. These are from Madewell. These are from Madewell. And I don't wear these that often because I think that they're a little, I don't know why they look a little chunky, a little weird on me, but maybe I just haven't like styled it right. I also haven't worn these in probably two years. Little regular hoops. These are actually from Malaysia in one of the street markets um, where they sell things for really cheap. And these were sterling silver. I think I got these for like 25 ringgit, which is like, six dollars and these are awesome these have never tarnished and they're just amazing i had to share that one even though you probably never get that also i didn't mention but all these earrings i've had in for ages they don't tarnish they're really good at keeping their gold color there's a few rings that actually have scraped off their coating which is why i don't wear them anymore but they were cute when they weren't scraped off teardrop earrings i got from nordstrom like the bp section but this was years ago, so I doubt they sell this anymore. I just thought the crystal, like, look on it was super cool. I want to say I also got these from, like, Wish or something. Another one that I don't really wear that often, but would look really good in, like, a shoot. So I keep these around just in case. This is not a thudder earring. This is just a single piercing, and it has, like, this look. This one I got from Wish, and it did kind of tarnish a little bit. Or not tarnish, but, like, this coating got scraped off a bit on the part that goes through my ear and so I have pretty sensitive ears and so I stopped wearing it for a little while but this one was really cute and it was like three dollars I think this little guy is also from Ana Luisa I don't know what happened to its pair but it has a little gem on it and it just looks like that maybe I have it on my ear no I don't I don't know what happened to the pair to this I start with the ones that I'm wearing right now so from fourth finger to this side I don't know why I said it like that. From pinky to pinky. This from Ana Luisa. I really like it. It has this little green gem on it. It's very chunky. I love it on my fourth finger. That's just where I always wear it. I do have a coupon code for them. So this one's from Ana Luisa also. This chain one is from Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. This one I got like a year ago and I wear it a lot. And I'm not very careful with my rings, which is how they get scratched up. This one is 
very robust but it is like a darker gold than the rest of the rings that are all from Anna Luisa. kind of matches this one which is from Vitali. this is from Vitali. this is from Vivimacity also it has a rose on it very sparkly this like sparkly kind of one right here that's also from Vivimacity. I usually like to stack a lot of rings on top of each other what I do need are more midi rings like the ones right here because I feel like if they're all down here they look a little funny it's just a little too much going on there I have this plain gold one also from Vivimacity these two rings that are from Vivimacity the bottom of it has kind of scraped off they're no longer super gold and super shiny anymore they're a bit cheaper quality I feel like compared to some of my other stuff as you can see this ring also from Annalisa is super scratched up I actually don't know if you can see that on the camera but if you see like right there that part's no longer even gold it might be like my fault because I used to wear my rings all the time and like never take them off but now I take them off so this might have gone through the bad taking care days but this one is super cool I really like this one because it's like double stacked and it just like looks sleek yet thick and I really love a thick ring you know we have this turquoise ring also from Ana Luisa the bottom of it is very scratched up I tend not to get rings that have the adjustable little band because I think it looks tacky if you switch it like if somebody sees it inside or if it like spins around your finger it looks weird for this one I don't really mind because I love I just love this stone that's on it and it looks really good in pictures it just really stands out a little bling on your ring I don't know why I said that bling on your finger little finger bling on it here's another Ana Luisa ring that is like now silver I don't wear that one much either just wanted to show you this bracelet this is from Vitali. I wear this a lot it's like my favorite one the only thing is it's too large for me but this was the smallest size and so sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do the other one I have is from Majuri this croissant dome thing that they're they had like a whole collection about it it was very popular at the time fake tennis bracelets one skinnier gems one of them is bigger I love how they look I just hate that they pull at everything like something about these gems or like the clasp catches on everything and it catches on all my bed sheets and it just like makes runs in them so I just took them off but they're great for pictures they really are a little something extra so skinny and like subtle I like subtle things sometimes you know balance out all these chunky rings necklaces I love necklaces and rings they're like probably my favorite part these are the two that I wear a lot. This one is from Vitali. This is from AliExpress. This was like two dollars and it's the best thing ever. My faculty this morning actually at, in lab was like, we have the same one. And I just didn't have the heart to tell him that mine was not real gold. He was like, I got this for my graduation from dental school. And I was like, this was two dollars off AliExpress and I got it myself when I was broke. I really wonder where I got this. I want to say this is Majuri. Actually, yeah, this is Majuri. It's a longer necklace. I don't really tend to wear longer necklaces anymore. Although I love the ease of putting them on. It's just like, what are we doing down here? The thing is, I don't like when my necklaces cross my shirts unless it's like a high neck. So unless I'm wearing a plunging neckline, which I never do because I don't have boobs, I tend not to go for this. But one day if I do wear like a really nice dress that has that kind of neckline, this would be really good. One of my favorite necklaces, Baby in Malay, and this is from Jessie Made. I think it was very cheap. It's just like one of these chokers and it looks really good when it's layered with a bunch of necklaces. I was wearing this consistently for like months. Literally any jewelry I wear for about a month or two and then I'm like okay time to switch it up so you probably see this a lot on my Instagram the other choker and like skinny pendant that I have is from um I forget what the brand was that made this collection but they do like college memorabilia memor memorabilia this says how to put on it in really really skinny script and it's just a cute little circular thing the other choker that I love is the snake chain it's a little bit longer than a choker but it's adjustable so you can make it smaller or larger this doesn't catch on my hair which is awesome this is also from aliexpress also very cheap also great also give it a chance just like catches the light so nicely in pictures like amazing as you can see i get very excited about my necklaces because i think they just add so much to your outfit it's very important get yourself some necklaces it's not real pearl but you know fake pearl it has a little pink flower in the middle it's also kind of a choker look 
we can make it a tiny bit longer so it sits more like here if you saw my last video it's from princess polly i got something pretty similar to that and um, this one just has a smiley face on it and it's jeweled and then i have this other beaded one which is neon which is very not my style but i think it looks good with some of my outfits just like a more casual one i really like the beaded look i think it looks camp counselor-y but at the same time not really and also like the pearls i like I don't know man, they're coming back. I remember when pearls used to be a like, really old lady and I would never, ever in a million years touch it. But now, here we are. Yeah, I really like the beaded ones. I think they're a little bit different from all of my gold ones. I only wear gold, by the way, if you haven't noticed yet. This is from Anna Luisa also. I love this necklace because the color of it is so beautiful. I wore this in my Zara haul and everyone was asking where it's from and I was like, girl, go, go get you some. This one is a great piece. It's also a little bit longer. It's probably sits like mid chest. So it's perfect for like all tank tops and adds a little bit of color, adds a little bit of layering capabilities. Filippo already, they had like this whole powerful women campaign and these are like inspired by powerful women or something like that. And I also got this one which has two different chains. It has like this paperclip looking one and then this skinnier beaded gold one. Um, and it is reversible so you can wear it on either side. The band just kind of has like some sort of texture on it It's nice. It's not adjustable length though So this is only wherever it sits and it kind of sits in a funny place for me to layer so I haven't been wearing those as much as I was when I first got them But they're still really great pieces and I like how big the pendants are last but not least I had this little teddy bear one. This is from Vitali also um, It's actually a gummy bear but I thought this was so cute and I wore it a lot at one point in time. It's a very skinny necklace, so it doesn't show up that great in pictures. But regardless, a very cute necklace. I wore it so much. It was insane. This was a way better angle. I don't know why I've been filming that way. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it answered some of your questions about my jewelry because there seems to be a lot. Everything will be linked below. Any discount codes that I have, I'll put below so you can save some money. But that was my entire jewelry collection and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in a later video. Bye!